Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where we'll explain how you can use bounding boxes. A bounding box is a predefined rectangular area within the design interface that constrains where users can place and manipulate elements such as text, images, and graphics. This ensures that design elements remain within a specified area suitable for printing or display on the product. In Fancy Product Designer, you can set a bounding box in two different ways. You can either specify your own coordinates with the position and dimensions of the rectangle that will be used as the bounding box, or you can use another element as the bounding box. Let's define a bounding box using coordinates, and then we'll take a look at how it appears on the front end. Now, we'll explore the option to use another element as a bounding box. To do this, you need to enable the option and then enter the title of the element you want to use as the bounding box. In this demo, we'll enter Overlay, which represents the PNG image. Let's head over to the front end, and you'll see that the bounding rectangle of the overlay is used as the bounding box. The next feature we'll discuss is the bounding box mode. You can choose from four different modes. Clipping, which is the default mode. The element will be clipped to fit within the boundaries of the bounding box. Inside, the element needs to be completely inside the bounding box. If any part of the element is outside the bounding box, an informational tooltip will appear. Limit modification. Modifications to the element can only be made within the bounding box. None. The bounding box is visible but does not impose any limitations on the element. It's purely for visual reference. When using the clipping mode with an SVG as the bounding box, there's a special behavior to note. The shape of the SVG itself will be used as the bounding box, not the rectangular boundary of the element. This feature is particularly useful for products requiring all-over printing, as it allows for precise control over where the design elements can be placed within complex shapes. If you want to define a global bounding box for the product view, you can do this in the view options. To set up a printing box for the view, you need to define a print size and then enable the option printing box as bounding box. This will add a printing box to the product view, which you can easily scale and move to your desired position. Whenever a customer adds their own element to the product, this printing box will be used as the bounding box. Alternatively, you can define these bounding box settings in the main settings. Here, you have the option to set different bounding boxes for images and texts added by customers. This allows for more tailored control over how elements are displayed and interacted with on the product. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy designing!